Hello everybody. So here NER stands for nothing but named entity recognition. What does that mean? This means is it's a, it's a system in which we define certain entities or we uh, give name to certain entities and we make a system or we make a model which will automatically recognize them all right now let me give you an example so let's say here you got a piece of information from news article where it says tata group acquired big basket enterprise for 45 billion dollar right so let's say you have built a model to name the organizations and recognize them so here if you see tata tata is the organization big basket enterprise is the organization right so these two are organizations so these two can be you know tagged as organization and whenever needed you know you can implement this thing in the model and whatever input you supply wherever it finds this particular entities it will give you those articles right so what is the uses of this where we can use this consider yourself you are someone working in a customer support in microsoft corporation you are working in the customer support right and this kind of complaints you are getting so you want to build some system where machine automatically understands the emails or chats and automatically you know assign those complaints to a specific group or to a specific team for example you might have a specific team supporting to microsoft excel microsoft word powerpoint power bi etc all right so how can you do that for that what you will do is you can use the ner system using that let's say if you have this all kind of complaints received either by chat or email the model will automatically recognize the entities into it for example the product okay so here first in the first chat if you see this complaint is related to microsoft word this is power bi this is excel so once it automatically recognizes it then next which it can do is it can forward or assign this particular complaint to the team which is dedicated to support on microsoft excel and those all things can be done automatically all right isn't it interesting yeah it is i can hear that now let me give you another example for example you go on youtube and you see these all tags for example you click on news and you get start getting all kind of news how does this system youtube know that this particular video is related to news because it has been tagged somewhere right this particular channel or this particular sentence it has been modeled as news so and basis on that you get a named entity over here and when you click on that related items just comes in front of you okay same way if you just click on live you're gonna get all the live videos right so this is how this named entity recognition helps you in multiple ways now let me take you to the jupyter notebook and show you how you can implement this in python okay so here i am in jupyter notebook for this we will be using this thing you can do using nltk as well but spacy is something which has pre-trained model and that is pretty well defined right so we will be using that okay so let's import spacy if you don't have it import or uh, already installed then this is how you can install it you need to you would require to do these two things pip install and then this particular thing all right so let's say import spacy and then this model also right let's see this is giving the error so what we can do is we can just take this as well and let's let me just put it over here oops this all right i need to uncomment this this still has some problem all 
all right so the error was some jupiter specific error we can ignore that right that's not something which will come to you but if it comes what you can do is you can restart the jupyter notebook now once we are done with you know importing this spacey the next thing which you need to do is you would require to import this particular model all right so let's just say this once this is imported the next thing is you simply provide your document okay or your complaint let's call it nlp and inside that you can provide your uh, you know for example let's say tata news right the tata tata acquired big basket enterprise for 45 billion dollar 45 billion okay so look i am not sure about this amount this is just a fictitious amount so don't take it seriously okay and let me just store this in a variable let's call it news all right so now this is stored into it next thing is we going to uh see how can we identify each of these entities all right so let's just so for that we're gonna say for uh we can say uh let's say x in news dot ent so in this model you already have predefined entities okay to identify that and then let's just say x dot labels and in when you when you print this you you see over here it is showing that in this particular text it finds three things organization organization and money means this model is trained to identify this kind of entities right but here you are not able to identify which entity which word is a organization and so so what you can do is you can just write x dot text and let me just have it separated so that it will be easy for you to understand now you see tata is organization big basket is entity and 45 billion dollar is money right so you see how beautiful it is now if you want if you don't understand what org is then there is another option as well let me just put this over here and here what you can do is you just call spacy model dot you can say explain and inside that you can ask it to explain x dot labels and now you see this tata is organization which means company agency institution etc there is another uh, way as well which is you know um, display see right you can use that to visualize it that that will make it look pretty good let's see so to do that we need to say in from from spacey import display c all right now once this is done what you can do is you simply say display c it's like c bond right display c dot you can use render and over here you just supply your article which is news which we had created over here and here you can say you can see the parameters stocks is supplied and then we can just come down then the next argument which we require to supply is that should be style okay so let's call it style style and the style would be entities because we are trying to find the entity over here now when you do this you see this is your original line and into that itself it is highlighting in color and it is giving the entity name as well i mean entity category as well right tata is organization big basket enterprises organization and 45 billion dollar is money all right so this is how you can define you can implement this spacey so this is something which was a pre trained model if you have uh, some specific list of words you can you can you know it's not necessary that you use some fancy module which is predefined in you know 
Python, what you can do is let's say if you are working in some startup company over there, you might have some new words which are already not trained in this model as entity or so. So what you can do is you can define your own list and then you can do a lookup. That is, it, it's that simple, right? So I just hope that it was easy for you to understand. Just in case if you get any doubt, put that into the comment section. I will definitely try to help you on that.